It's Monday, the 8th of December, and I'm Richard Gage, and to my left, your right, is my son. Hi, what's your name? Michael. And to my right, your left, is my other son. Mason. And uh, today's reading is this. It's uh, entitled, Climbing Up. Surely the Lord is in this place, and I wasn't even aware of it. Genesis chapter 28 verse 16. As Jacob slept, he dreamed of a stairway that reached from the earth up to heaven. And I saw the angel of God going up and down the stairway. At the top of the stairway stood the Lord. And he said, I am the Lord, the God of your grandfather Abraham and the God of your father Isaac. The ground you are lying on belongs to you. I am giving it to you and your descendants. Your descendants will be as numerous as the dust of the earth. They will spread out in all directions, uh, to the west, to the east, to the north and the south. And all the families of the earth will be blessed through you and your descendants. What's more, I am with you and I will protect you wherever you go. One day I will bring you back to this land. I will not leave you until I have finished everything I have promised you. Then Jacob awoke from his sleep and said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I wasn't even aware of it. Abraham's son Isaac grew up like all miraculous, wonderful children do, and he had a son named Jacob. And Jacob was a struggler. One night during his travels, Jacob lay down on the ground and looked up at a black blanket of stars, and he dozed off into dreams. Jacob dreamed of wonders that from his hard bed of earth right up to the starry heights of heaven. There was a long, long ladder that stretched on and on, the way things can only go on and on in dreams. And angels, blazing angels of light, were going up and coming down this ladder in Jacob's dream, this ladder that stretched on and on from earth right up to heaven. Now a ladder that reached all the way long from heaven to earth would be impossible to climb and climb and climb except people really do keep trying. Not during dreams, but during the day. People keep trying to do enough good, climb enough steps, haul up enough runs to finally pull their whole weary selves all the way along, impossible way up to heaven. But the thing is, we live in a fallen world and we have a tendency to fall, especially off imaginary ladders. Yet, have you seen or heard that this is the dream that comes true. The real amazing dream is that there are no ladders to climb up at all, ever, because Jesus comes down to get you. Jesus himself explained the dream of Jacob's ladder that goes on and on and on. You will all see heaven open and the angels of God going up and down on the Son of Man the one who is the stairway between heaven and earth. See, Jesus doesn't just come down to show you the steps you have to take to get up to heaven. Jesus comes down and makes himself into the steps to carry you up to heaven. Everybody else may tell you the steps you may have to take to get better, but Jesus is the only one who becomes the steps to take you there himself because he loves you already, just as you are. Jesus doesn't wait for you to be good. He comes to earth with us who are already having very awful, miserable, no good days right now. Jesus comes to carry us who are feeling mad and bad and sad and anything but glad. And he left heaven to be with us who feel left out. Jesus comes to us who seem to get every step wrong. He becomes the step just to get us. Jesus came from heaven to be with you in your hurt. What if every time you looked at a Christmas tree, you could see how every Christmas tree looks a little bit like a ladder? And Jesus is your ladder, who wants to give you the gift of letting him carry you up, no matter how far you've fallen. The wonder of it, Jesus picks you up at your lowest and loves you all the way up to the starry sky. It's like waking up and discovering that all your wildest dreams become the happiest arm waving true. Have Bye. a good week, everybody. Bye-bye.